I might not need to take the Yipe Hell Express every time anymore. I've got the Return to Yipe spell. After casting this spell, you will end up back in the town of Yipe. It can only be cast on the surface. So, may want to cast a Return to Surface spell if I am stuck in a cave before I can cast Return to Yipe. Anyway, there is another cave in these parts. If I can remember how to get there. Actually, I think I do vaguely remember something here. Ah, there it is. Secret passage. Let's investigate the monster breeding grounds some more, now that I've leveled up a bit since last I was here. Oh right, I needed a rainbow key for the princess holding cell. But there's at least a couple of treasure chests I can get in here. Stink potion. Joy. I don't have any recharge roasts. That is a problem. What's on the lower level here? Huh? I thought this one was registered. <gasps> Hello, friends and adventurers, and welcome back to Sally Cat Plays Quest of Yipe 3. Uh, it turns out I have a registered copy of Quest of Yipe on my main work computer. But when I made a copy and moved it over to my recording computer, the registration status did not stick. <laughs> Pretty good copy protection from the mid-90s there. So, let us join Sally Cat the Magic Hat as I return to the Monster Breeding Grounds. Also, I have spent a little bit of time off-screen doing a little bit of grinding, leveling up. I have not gotten any more gear, but I have enough gold I can probably afford an upgrade or two. Could upgrade from Psy Swords to the Dragon Sword. Or can turn in my spiked plate mail for either a suit of Majestic Chainmail or King's Armor. Huzzah! And now I'm poor again. Constant dilemma of the adventurer. If 
feels so good to one-shot enemies and crush them like that. Nazan, where was I? Monster Breeding Ground, level 2. We've got another Stone King, some little demons, and whatever the heck this guy is in the corner. A Tongue Toad! He is considerably stronger than most of the enemies I've faced so far. Okay, that extra leveling is coming in handy. And what are you? Wisp! Even stronger enemy. Ow. Just imagine how badly this would be going if I hadn't upgraded my armor. Apparently that's a water enemy. Do I have enough juice? I'd really rather have a few more spell points in reserve here. Let's head back to the surface. And I can take advantage of something I haven't really shown off properly in this Let's Play just yet. I did show this off on screen, but I haven't made much practice of using this magic pool to restore health and spell points. Fortunately, as I level up, it is easier and easier to uh, drop in and use that without utterly destroying myself on the enemies. Okay, let's try this again again. And grab a little bit of extra XP and gold. <laughs> so, another Stone King. Still hits me very hard. But a couple rounds of health suction and easily dispatched. Hello, princess. The princess nods at you and opens up a small pouch she is carrying. From it, she takes a rainbow key and hands it to you. Excellent. Been wanting that for a couple of princesses now. Ow. I could barely see this one against the floor. Air thing. I don't want to deal with two of you right now. I said I don't want to deal with two of you. Meh. Maybe I'll take out that other demon later. This door I can open, and there's another flame jello beast thing. Here I can exchange my backstab for invisibility. When you use this skill in combat, your character will become invisible for a short period of time. During this time, no monsters will be able to hit you, and you will have a higher chance of hitting your enemies. I will learn that. Oh. Um. Hi. Earl Earthworm. Well, he's no Earthworm Jim, but he's still uh, an Annelid that I really don't want to tangle with right now. So I'm going to continue fleeing. Yeah, Monster Breeding Grounds is a fun place to meet all sorts of enemies that you wouldn't otherwise see at various points of the game.
much better. Also, while I'm in here, there is a door that needs the rainbow key to open. Okay, that took a lot of health. Definitely not cheating. Here we go. Hooray, we found more treasures. No princesses hiding here. Ooh, yipe, magic armor, free upgrade. Stats are looking pretty decent. Ooh, I almost killed everyone here with a brain crush. Maybe I should go buy a couple of intelligence chips. Assuming I can even afford them. Can't learn new spells. Can spend a little gold. Nothing new from the king. Shopkeeper pays me lots of money for my old armor. Intelligence chip is not cheaper here. Squawker. Uh-huh. Oh, ow. Twenty-seven. Uh, here is where intelligence chips are. Marginally cheaper. Okay. So shall I go and finish off the fire dungeon or the monster breeding grounds? Fire dungeon needed an underworld key for at least one of its doors, and I think the monster breeding grounds just wants a... Rainbow key, which I have now. Water ghost. I'm definitely getting stronger. There we go. Good lord, I do not want to deal with three of you. Da -da -da! Another princess! Princess looks at you and winks her eye. You notice your maximum health has gone up a little. Very nice. Since it's just one of you. Maybe I should be checking this room for secret passages. It's something I don't always remember to do.
think the armor upgrade is helping out already. Okay, nothing in here. With my current stats, I think I'm going to go up against the somewhat less intimidating enemy. my special ability. Disappear. Well, that went well. And again, just checking around for secret passages and Trying not to get horribly murdered. Well, that didn't work. Hmm. I'm getting to the point where I probably could take out these uh, demon guards once I've been healed. I think I'd rather have more spell points on hand for that, though. So I can pay money for healing. Or I can step back into the stone cave. Or I can step into the stone cave, get in a few fights, and pay for some healing anyway. Still cheaper than spell point healing. Anyway, monster breeding grounds wins out because somewhat faster to get there. I think that was an electric eel I just ran away from. And one or two enemies have respawned. Okay, first flame beast. Very nice! And I got a rare stamp! I think that's three out of six. Go away. Ooh, I got that dragon sword and I didn't even have to pay for it. And a retard roast. I haven't been using those as much lately. And this guy responds. I can pretty reliably one-shot weasels, too. What are you? Axeman. He looks like a dwarf or an angry gnome. Oh, he doesn't hit like a gnome. Not good. I think I'm just gonna run. Refill health and spell points at the spring once again. And since I've gotten a rare stamp, I should check in with King What's-His-Name. Good evening, Sally Cat the Magic Cat. Three stamps! 
You have returned half of my stamps to me. This is cause for celebration. I will organize a party tonight in your honor. But don't get too carried away. There are still more stamps to find. The king gives you a thousand gold coins. Cool beans. I wish that I could follow you into the caves and seek revenge on these evil monsters myself. However, I am old and not as strong as you are. It is up to you to find the last few remaining stamps. I wish you luck. Okay, still nothing about your daughters. I thought I saw another message in there, but it was about stamps anyway. How tough are you guys compared to me now? Okay, it takes me two or three hits to kill a mouthman. I've gotten the highest weapon and armor. Well, almost the highest level armor that I can buy from here. I have Yipe Magic Armor, and the highest level is Holy Yipe Armor. Which I can't... No, I could afford if I wanted to. Let's see what they've got in Quizalog. Quizalog has no armor to buy. But I could certainly up Upgrade a weapon. I guess I'm getting the magic yipe flail. Magical weapons are entirely appropriate for a magic hat, right? Since I've proven myself worthy of uh, grappling with a flame beast, let's go show this one what I'm made of. Little Demon and Burning Skeleton. So, about the same average level of enemy as the other guy had. I dare say that one was even easier. And I've gained a level. <laughs> Surface potion, strength cracker, dexterity drink, and a Scooby snack. Yay! I didn't even get a stamp from that one, did I? But the extra strength and dexterity is appreciated. So, at some point, I'm going to have to figure out where to get that underworld key. I think I have an idea, though. And there's also at least one cave that I've seen on the overworld that I have not explored yet. So, we shall see at least one of those in the next episode. Have a good one, everybody.